Here are the starters. Number one, Sherry's Parson, owned by Buddy Simpson of Fairfield and Phil Pierce of Carmi, trained by Clay Simpson. Buddy Simpson is up. 1A, Drew's Wonder Boy, owned by Carl Monte of Depew, New York, and Buddy Simpson of Fairfield, Illinois, trained and driven by Clay Simpson. By the way, folks, there will be a late driver change in this race on number 8, FF Black Magic. It'll be Fred Finn, Jr. Fred Finn, Jr. on number 8. Continuing with the post parade, number 2, He's No Shrimp, owned by Mike Brink of Springfield, Carl Swanson of Washington, Illinois, trained and driven by Mike Brink. Number 3, Heather David, owned by Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois, of Dennis and Kevin Lacomey, co-owned by Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, trained by Irv Miller. His brother, Andy Miller, is up. Number four, PTA, owned by Jesse Fergie of Colorado, by Dolores and Ron Phillips of Petersburg, Illinois, trained and driven by Mike Rogers of Loami, Illinois. Number five, Dangerous Bow, owned by Robert Jean Maples of Newton, trained and driven by Wheeler's Mike Nicely. Race with the Wind, number six, we will show you in a moment. First, here's number seven on the monitors, Was Up Yankee, owned by Mike Titus of Charleston, Stan Holsapple of Toledo, trained by Ray Hanna of Altamont. The driver is Tony Morgan. Number six on the monitors, Race with the Wind, owned by Kenneth Hughes of New Windsor, trained and driven by Jace Sundin. Then here's number eight, FF Black Magic, owned by Richard Rick and Arlene Flacco's Flacco Family Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Alexis, trained by Joel Miller. The driver is Fred Finn, Jr. And number nine, Mr. Primrose, owned by Larry Finn, Richard Dickerson, and Trudy Beaver of Newton, trained by Larry Finn. His brother, John David Finn, is in the bike. Again, Fred Finn, Jr. drives the eight, trotting hobbles for the six, post-time in less than three minutes, less than three. On Thursday at 12 noon, the county fair challenges for three-year-olds and the Hayes Memorial Grand Circuit events for two-year-old trotters. You know, Chip Chip Hooray won the two-year-old Grand Circuit race here last year before going on to win this year's Hamiltonian. 12 noon Friday, 12 noon Saturday, World Trotting Derby Day. Today's ninth and 10th are yet to come. Race nine is at the post, gates rolling, and here they come for the ninth. They're off and trotting. Drew's Wonder Boy left quickly along with Mr. Primrose on the far outside. Those two trying to clear all of the inside traffic before they get to the first turn, but Heather David and PTA are both there toward the rail. PTA moves up in between horses. Mr. Primrose trots by him on the outside, and there goes Drew's Wonder Boy up to third as Heather David settles back into the fourth position. Was up Yankee gets away in good order in fifth and is followed around the first turn by He's No Shrimp, who's sixth. The gap of three to FF Black Magic Sherry's Parson, Dangerous Bow made a break and is better than 25 lengths off the lead and it's a long way back to race with the wind who's last after a break, 29 and 2 for the opening quarter and Drew's Wonder Boy was parked for nearly 3 eighths of a mile but now makes the top by a length and a half as they hit the midpoint of the back stretch. Mr. Primrose is second by a length. PTA takes to the outside third. Then Heather David, who starts to move up with cover behind him. And they are followed by Wasop Yankee, who's racing six lengths off the lead. Then He's No Shrimp, FF Black Magic, Sherry's Parson, and a huge gap to Dangerous Bow and Race with the Wind, who's last. The half in 59 and four. Drew's Wonder Boy leads by two lengths. Midway on the final turn, PTA second by a neck. And Mr. Primrose is toward the inside in third. Heather David will have to come three wide. Here he comes. He's fourth. And Heather David starts moving up. Some four lengths off the lead, however. And behind him, Waz Up Yankee starts to pick off a few positions. He's now third out in the center of the track, but still seven lengths from the front, and he just made a break. Drew's Wonder Boy leads by five. Heather David has his work cut out for him. He's second, three quarters, and one thirty and three fifths. Gap of seven back to He's No Shrimp in third. Sherry's Parson has made up a lot of ground to be fourth. At the eighth pull. Drew's Wonder Boy leading Heather David by some three lengths and then He's No Shrimp is third. Drew's Wonder Boy trying to give Clay Simpson back-to-back -back wins in the County Fair Challenge. He's going to do it. What a day for the Simpson team. Drew's Wonder Boy takes it by five lengths. Heather David was second. He's No Shrimp was third and the time two minutes, two fifths.
know so often we talk about the guys in this sport. We were talking about Buddy Simpson last time with Winter's Circle, but a lot of times we neglect to mention the women who make the sport of harness racing great, like Buddy Simpson's wife, Doris. And the Simpsons have just accepted the trophy for the County Fair Challenge. A couple of weeks ago at the Illinois State Fair, when Buddy and Doris were not tied up taking care of horses, they were at the Horse Coliseum watching the Society Horse Show. True equine lovers, let's bring in their son, Clay Simpson. Clay, outside starting spot, post position 10. You look pretty determined to get the lead. Did you have any doubt you would get to the front of those opening strides? Well, I wasn't sure. Uh, he wasn't leaving like he normally does, but he uh, finally got there. And I think J.D. let me go, and that helped. <laughs> and I, I was surprised that uh, they didn't keep up better than they did. I, or he, he surprised me he could trot more now than he can. Or I, well, you got to the half in 59 and changed, 59 and 4 at the half. Did you expect to set that kind of tempo? Not really. I was, I was trying to back him up a little bit, and then Mike pulled, started trotting at me a little bit, and, and I decided I'd just, well, go on instead of pulling it out of him. So <laughs> it worked out. And it worked, and that's the main thing. Four Simpson horses, they all four get checks, two wins. The winners alone combined to gross $15,000. We'll let you get going. Congratulations. Time to go celebrate. Thank you. That's Clay Simpson, our winning trainer and driver. The rundown is next.